Hey you guys, it is Crystal Lopez here from crystalandcump.com. Hello teenager. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I want you to join me as I make five amazing freezer meals that are all using chicken breasts. So these are meals that I'm doing them as freezer meals, but you could also just do them as make ahead meals and pop them in your fridge if you know you're gonna use them in the next couple of days. Um, make them all, fill your freezer, make some for now and some for later, or just make them for, make one of them for tonight, whatever you wanna do. But what I have done for you to make this even easier for you, if you will look down in the comments below, there is a pinned comment and it will have the ingredients list and the instructions for each of these recipes down below. So all you have to do is click that link, enter your email address, and I will email this document to you so that you have everything you need to make these five yummy freezer meals. So the first one that we're gonna make is um, scrumptious chicken tortilla soup, super yummy. The next one we're gonna make is a chicken Alfredo baked ziti, also super yummy. We're gonna make chicken pot pie. I'm actually making two because it takes two to feed my family again super yummy. And then we're going to make Ritz cracker chicken casserole, super yummy. <laughs> and then we're going to make a creamy chicken and rice casserole, also super yummy. So, all right, <clears throat> get the link below, grab what you need, pull things from your fridge, pantry, freezer, whatever you have on hand, and let's make this stuff. Ready, set, go. All right, so the night before, I went ahead and cooked my chicken. That would save me a little bit of time the day of assembly. So I took all eight huge, ginormous chicken breasts, popped them into the Instant Pot. I put in some salt and pepper, and then I also put in some Mrs. Dash. It was actually the Costco version of Mrs. Dash, which is really yummy and flavorful. And then I also added a cup of water, which you always wanna make sure that you're cooking in your Instant Pot with at least a cup of water. Set it to 20 minutes and let it cook. When it was done, I let it cool, and then I took the chicken and put it into a Ziploc bag and put it in the fridge to deal with the next day when it was time to do assembly. And you're gonna see some of that. Okay, and then the day of assembly, I realized that I was going to need a little bit more chicken. So I had a couple of chicken breasts out in the freezer and I put those in the Instant Pot and cooked them as well. And there they are. Okay. So now I'm starting to get all the things together for these meals. I need rice for one of the casseroles. So I'm using bouillon and water and I'm gonna cook brown rice in the Instant Pot for 20 minutes. And then I've got noodles going for one of the other recipes. Then I take all of my ingredients and I get all of them out for all five meals and I kind of group them together. These go in this recipe, these go in this recipe. These are the common ones that go in multiple recipes. I get everything kind of set out and going um, on the counter so that everything is there and accessible and I'm not making back and forth, back and forth trips to the pantry, the fridge, whatever. Then I went ahead and started chopping up my onions and chopping up my cilantro. And then once I was done with that, I started cutting up my chicken. Just go ahead and knock it out and cut up all of the chicken, all 10 chicken breasts, all at one time so that you can get all of this out of the way and you don't have to keep coming back and interrupting yourself with, now I gotta cut more chicken, now I gotta cut more chicken. This way it's all done and you can just seamlessly go through the process. All right, and then I bought these super deep nine by 13 disposable pans. That's what I'm gonna use for this. You can use traditional nine by 13 glass pans if you have enough of them. Go ahead, if you're using the metal ones, wash them out before you put any food in them. And then now we're gonna go ahead and start chopping up the celery, which is for one of the recipes. So now we're gonna grab that brown rice that we made and it's done. So we just, I kind of stir it up a little bit and then I'm gonna start assembling the um, brown rice chicken casserole. And so that is what I'm doing here. I'm just adding everything to a really big bowl, all the ingredients. Don't forget the first comment below, click on that link, 
enter your email address and my system will automatically email you the pages to download these recipes with ingredients and instructions for assembling these freezer meals. Um, this recipe does call for chicken broth, but instead I'm using water and the bouillon paste. Um, so that's super easy. And then we're going to, don't feel like you have to buy Parmesan cheese already shredded up in a little bag. I buy a big block of Parmesan cheese from Sam's or Costco about once a month or once every other month sometimes for spaghetti because we have spaghetti so often. Just shred it up like you would any other cheese. It's really, really good. And it goes in this recipe. So it'll be handy. Perfect. Mix everything up. And then once it's all mixed up, we will put it over in um, the 9 by 13 pan. I did decide to stretch it out a little bit and add a little bit more rice, uh, which you can totally do. Um, you know, anytime you want to add a little bit more meat or a little bit more of your rice, that is totally doable without messing up the recipe. And then you're just gonna cover it in foil and do make sure that you label the top so that you know exactly what it is. Okay, now we're gonna make the Ritz cracker um, casserole. This is another very, very yummy dish. You'll notice that I'm using the plain Greek yogurt um, in many of these recipes and that is in lieu of uh, sour cream. So anytime a recipe calls for mayonnaise, sour cream, ranch dressing, anything like that, you can always use the plain yogurt. It's really, really yummy and it's high in protein. So we're mixing everything up here. This recipe did call for mixed vegetables, but my mixed vegetables that I already had in the freezer, um, I had a little bit that or from a recipe that I made a while back, a little bit left over, and I was gonna use those and they were freezer burnt. So I just went ahead and grabbed the broccoli and we're gonna use that instead. This is a forgiving recipe that really any vegetable that you like can be used in here. So we are just get everything laid out here in the pan, crushing up two packages of the Ritz crackers, and then we're cutting up some butter to put on top. Yes, you're gonna freeze all of this, and then when it defrosts and you go to heat it up in the oven, all of that butter is gonna melt into those Ritz crackers, and it is super, super delicious. And then again, don't forget to label your pan. And now we're gonna make that penne pasta Alfredo dish this is another super easy one and that rayo's sauce is so good i love their stuff but we're just going to mix all of this together there's that pasta that we cooked on the stove top that's been just waiting once it was drained i just kind of left it waiting for us until we were ready to use it in this recipe and now we're just going to mix all this together and then toss it into a 9 by 13 pan as well don't forget to spray your pans that's really important so that this stuff doesn't stick And I do want to add when you are cooking pasta to go into a freezer meal, cook it al dente so that it's not overly done because you're going to have to bake this later and you don't want it to be soggy noodles. All right, so now it's time to make the chicken tortilla soup. I love that this is done in a bag. It makes it super easy. And I do love the bag holders for holding my Ziploc bag up. Go ahead and start dumping stuff in. I do put the Rotel in with juices and all, but the corn and black beans, I put them into a cup that has strainer slots in it. And I drain that out and then I rinse them with water. And the water and juices from the cans just run through the slats. I'll show you, you'll see it, there it is. Um, there's a quick shot of it. It's a really, really useful um, cleaning or a useful cup for draining canned vegetables. Anyway, add everything else. I do not add the chicken broth. So I just put a note on the front to add six cups of chicken broth whenever I go to cook this. There's no reason to freeze that much chicken broth. Um, it's just going to take up room in the bag and it, it can be a mess if it all comes undone, honestly. And then those chips were just chips that we will top the soup with. They obviously don't get frozen. Okay, so now we're going to make the chicken pot pie. This is such an easy, easy meal to make. It's so delicious. We're just getting everything mixed up. One of the secret keys to this recipe is using cream of celery and cream of potato soup. Those are both really flavorful. 
um, for your chicken pot pie. And then I also use um, store-bought pie dough. So I actually will do either the Pillsbury brand or the Walmart or Target store brand work just fine. I have not tried a store brand that was bad. <laughs> like it's really, it's really easy to make. And the fact that you don't have to make your own pie crust really makes this recipe even that much better. And my kids love this. And then you'll cover these in foil. Make sure you spray the pans and um, you'll cover them in foil and then make sure you label them. So I cut out little leaves in the top. This just helps for ventilation while it's cooking, but you can also just do slats like I do or like we did in this picture here. Either one is fine. You just wanna be able to let air move freely through here and um, you can do it either way. Guys, here are the five. That is the creamy chicken rice casserole, the Ritz ca chicken casserole, the Alfredo chicken bake, the chicken tortilla soup, and then the two chicken pot pies. These are going to make for delicious dinners and make dinner time so much easier. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. And don't forget, to look down in the comments, the pinned comment, click that link, enter your email address, and my system will automatically email you all of the ingredients and instructions for all five of these recipes. All right, guys, have a great day. I hope you'll like and subscribe. Bye.